Hey, it's Sunday. Let's see who's dropping in. I was initially going to talk about these two knives. Then I started doing some batoning, which you will see at the end, if you stick around. And why wouldn't you? And I threw this into the mix. These used to be about $40, whereas these were topping in around $100. Now they're $89. This was $89. For even money, who do I keep? I don't know yet. And what's funny, <laughs> 89 What do I like about the Garberg? I like the blade shape. I like the handle shape. I like the protrusion on this. Not like on the tops where it sticks way up. I think when I remove this, that's a lot of steel. This is DLT coated as opposed to black tie or whatever you call that, black paint. See how that's wearing off? This doesn't wear off. I'm sure eventually it will come off, but it is mucho tough. This does not have a coating because it is just plain old carbon steel, and that is how it looks after it's been, I guess, drop forged, forged, hammer forged, who knows what, into its shape, and then ground down. So there's nothing to wear off there. The handle on this has a nice palm swell. You're going to like that. Fits in the hand very nice. This is just enough for a two finger grab if you need to do some light chopping. And you will see later on that this comes in quite handy should you need to pound on the butt. Comes in at a relatively thin blade stock but not like the regular Mora companion. It's more of the thickness of the heavy duty. So that's a good thickness. You look at these, they are all very similar in size with three styles of blade edge. Mora coming in with the standard Scandi grind the Puko coming in with the Puko edge and then the Gerber strong arm coming in with your saber grind. A traditional grind with a secondary swedge. But in all fairness, out of the box, the Garberg was more slicey because the edge was a true Scandi edge and this was a Puko with secondary edge way too fat. This has a grippy handle and is quite contoured and you can do a two finger hold for chopping. Garberg. Nice handle. Not as grippy. Harder material. Still you can make an impression in it with your nail, but harder. And this is their C100 steel, which is also known as UHB-20C. The equivalent being AISI 1095. Those Swedes, they got a different word for everything. But I have to admit, I've beat on this quite severely, pried with it. No issues. Cannot say the same for the stainless steel version of the Garberg. Whole different animal. If you want stainless steel and you got to have stainless steel, go for it. But just know that you're going to have an edge that rolls. It's going to be chippy. It's not going to hold up like this. The knife steel that these guys use, Daniel Winkler uses it in his Midtech line, and it's 80CR V2. I trust Daniel Winkler to use something better than just 1095. He used to use 5160. I have pounded on this and not had any edge problems. But like I said, I spent over an hour over the course of a couple days trying to get this to a perfect zero grind Pukovex. I like that. Pro tip. 
if you don't have access to a mechanical means of grinding one of the Ken onion grinders or a slack belt or something like that do not get this because there's just too much material to take off to do it by hand there's just no way 420 HC same stuff that Buck uses out of the box this has a nice scandy no secondary edge but this is much easier to modify the only real issue at least with mine and I'm not even sure I got the right sheath it came with this piece of crap I mean that's it every picture I've seen they come with a black sheath and it seems to be a little bit more robust this is even kind of a thin flexible so what I'm using now is a spare sheath from a Patrick Collins camp lore from Essie fits like a glove thick leather protected in and out piece of cake but for the overall package and not have to monkey around find something else the sheath that comes with the Garberg is superior with my mods, I still love this thing. But again, the sheath is the big thing. Hey, you can get pretty parched making quality knife videos. You ever try this? If you haven't, take out a student loan, get yourself a four pack. You might like it. Hey, if you're into seeing knives, getting baton through stuff stick around I don't generally do this but I've got some stuff over there that may as well So you wonder why you have that, so you can do that. <laughs>